It is one of the largest fertilizer plants in the world. Started a half century ago by a small group of men with a dream. The fertilizers produced here are the lifeblood of farmers across the Midwest. The plant itself, a testament to the pride and determination found in the Siouxland people. Sioux City began with agriculture. That's what drives us. And this continues that whole thread, but it takes it in another direction. It is true, the product we produce helps the world produce the amount of food necessary to sustain our population. I'm proud of the, the plant that I work in. It's clean, it's efficient, it's safe. We're seeing an enormous amount of train and truck traffic in and out of that plant. It's created jobs. This company continues to make a difference in our community each and every day. I think they like wearing a CF shirt in the community or a, a hat. They're proud to be affiliated with this plant. CF is the kind of business you want to do business with. These home movies show the Port Neal complex in the mid-1960s. That's the power plant in the background. The film was taken to document where a new company, Terra Chemical International, was going to build its first fertilizer plant. Visionary Bill Dival and his two business partners selected this site because of its close proximity to the power plant and to the farmers who would use the product. A ceremony in winter 1964 kicked off the project. Construction of a fertilizer plant was a massive undertaking. Large industrial components were brought in by truck and rail. Construction ground on for two years. In 1967, the Port Neal plant started operating with 47 employees. Soon, it was putting out significant quantities of nitrogen fertilizers. The plant uh, at that time produced the ammonia and a dry product. The dry product was put in bags and on pallets and shrink wraps. The fertilizers that came from the Port Neal complex were distributed mostly to farmers of Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Starting in the 1970s and continuing for decades, Terra would aggressively expand its business footprint by acquiring nitrogen and methanol facilities across North America. International assets were acquired as well. This elevated Terra into one of the nation's largest producers of farm fertilizers and industrial chemicals. As Terra grew, the Port Neal plant remained an important asset because of its location in corn country. So at Port Neal, since 1967, we've taken natural gas and we've converted that into a product that the farmers use to uh, fertilizer, uh, add nutrients to their soil for crop production. By the early 1990s, 25 years after starting operation, Port Neal was Iowa's largest nitrogen fertilizer producer. That would change in a split second. A pre-dawn explosion at the plant, a few weeks before Christmas 1994, tore apart much of the facility, killing four Terra employees. I live up on the north side of Sioux City and the house shook. And I thought maybe a snow plow had hit something out on the street because it's very cold. They were saying on TV that there had been an earthquake in Sergeant Bluff. Well, then it took them a little while before they realized it wasn't an earthquake and it was something so much more severe. The plant was so, so devastated by the explosion. Do you rebuild this facility or do you just shut it down and, and walk away? And the decision was made at that time to rebuild the facility. The plant would not simply be rebuilt, it would be enlarged to increase production capacity by 60%. Port Neal was to become more efficient, more automated, safer than before. The cost of the rebuild around $300 million. It was a difficult time for the community as well as the, the family out here. But the good that came out of that was uh, going from more 70s technology, 60s technology to state-of-the-art electronic controls. By the late 1990s, the plant was again up and running and producing more fertilizer than before. Then another crisis hit. 
a sharp increase in natural gas prices. There were other plants around the country that were shutting their plants down and selling their gas because they could make more money off of the gas that they had bought than what they could make making product. We didn't quite come to that here. In 2010, fertilizer giant CF Industries acquired Terra. Concerns spread across Siouxland about the fate of the Port Neal complex. Then, in the summer of 2011, monumental flooding along the Missouri River brought another wave of anxiety. With the river slowly creeping closer to the plant, employees went beyond their regular duties, building a berm and taking other steps to protect the plant from rising waters. We had to remove all the motors from the plant. Any critical piece of equipment had to be moved off site. So we went through buying mass quantities of mosquito spray, a rowboat, all the different things you had to have just in case. Ultimately, the plant was spared from floodwaters, but CF management was impressed by the exhaustive flood preparations by the employees. And in 2012, CF Industries announced it would pump approximately $2 billion into a Port Neal expansion. They saw extraordinary efforts undertaken by the plant to protect the plant in 2011, saw what we could do and what the community was capable of. It, obviously, the location, Port Neal's a great facility, a great location to have product moving into the, the Corn Belt, which is we're in the heart of. When CEF came in, people thought, what's going to happen now? Is this going to change? Are we going to see something different? And what do they do? They go and announce that they're going to expand. It's not just business as usual. It's business as you've never seen it before. As construction personnel poured in, the housing market boomed in Sioux City and surrounding areas. Hotels flourished. The expansion was an economic boost for the entire region. We went through a period of four, five, six months where we had something in the neighborhood of 5,000 plus boots on the ground. That was all inclusive, but around 5,000 construction workers. It is the largest construction project in my career uh, of almost 40 years with Woodbury County probably be the largest that we'll see in this area for some time to come as well. The power cap for the urea facility was a huge pour. It was 5,283 cubic yards, by far the largest pour uh, in Iowa. And getting these huge pieces of equipment into uh, their plant uh, was no small task. During this construction project, Nick and his team found a way to successfully use barge to bring some of those materials into their plant for construction. And uh, it was great to see equipment traveling up the Missouri again. In 2016, the expansion was finished and Port Neal's ammonia capacity had been tripled. Midwest farmers now have access to a steady supply of domestically produced fertilizers. I saw the numbers of how much production was curtailed, I guess, after the explosion. And now you think about this uh, new expansion and what it's done to production levels to help the ag community. It's, it's pretty impressive. Now the bulk of what we produce goes within a four or five state region, primarily Nebraska, Iowa, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota is sort of the footprint where our product goes, especially the new granular urea, which goes up into the Dakotas. The granular urea warehouse is a third of a mile long and holds more than 130,000 tons, making it the largest urea warehouse in North America. It is a state-of-the-art plant in terms of uh, its size, capacity, its ability to produce product, just great equipment, great controls, and then just to see it, all the new people that come together and have learned it and taken it under their wings and owned it and operating it and running it and, and doing very well with it. Since 1967, the Port Neal plant has been one of Siouxland's great assets. The complex provides more than 250 good paying jobs. It produces products that help grow our food. And it's now leading the entire region into a better tomorrow. I think CF is a good community citizen. They will get involved in 
events that are happening here. They will make sure that their people are involved in activities. Because of our expansion here, we're a little more well known than we used to be in the community. And we do make every effort to support different organizations throughout the community. If they get involved, they give not only their treasure, but they also give their time and talent. And to see them involved in different things uh, across the community, I know United Way, Siouxland Habitat for Humanity, Ronald McDonald House. Our location is like a family and everyone cares about each other, everyone supports each other, and wants to ensure that we are successful. And it's great to work for a company. It's their main priority. It's safely doing whatever we do. That's a great platform. We can work with that and make great things happen from there.